Hello, scrappers. Tonight, I'm gonna be scrapping this. This is a Dell PhotoSmart 924. Ew. This has been in the other garage for a long time. Printer, scanner, copier, it looks like. Let's uh, see what she weighs. 10 and 3 quarter pounds, almost 11 pounds. What's that? That's neat. Power supply. Is this worth saving? Got a screw, but I got to put gloves on. I hurt my finger pretty bad the other day. You're probably going to notice I won't be using my finger much. Ripped a big chunk out of it. I got to let it heal. Where's E.T. when I need him? Ouch. Wish I had me an E.T. Fix my cut finger. Maybe I should have tried the screw. It's one of those tamper... One of them tamper resistant ones that I don't have. There we go. There's always a way. So is this a relay? Nope. Here's some a uh, little bit of number two insulated here. It all adds up. Got some a little bit of brass. Can't do nothing with gloves on. I hate gloves. Just have to be careful for my thinner. We got some number two copper. A little ferrite. Get the little bits of ferrite out of there as much of it as we can. Number two copper. There we go. Some more number two copper. Pretty sure these transformers are the ones with all the tape wrapped inside of them. Almost impossible to get get the copper out of those. This is pretty heavy. Let me see if I can get this transistor off. My finger is screwed up. There we go. I hate having a bum finger. These are, they got a little copper plate in them. See the copper plate? These can go right in your number two copper bucket. There's another one here, so I can get this one too. No, nope, that can stay on the board, I guess. Got some copper bearing board. Oh, a nice little piece of aluminum here. Little piece of aluminum. What is this? Is this copper or brass? That's ten. I'll go in the ten bucket. You got some copper bearing. 
10 for the 10 bucket. These are brass in here. Really difficult to get out. Throw them into copper bearing. And some plastic. Now. Plastic, is that aluminum? Get a scratch into it. I think that might be aluminum. No, it's plastic. Don't want to break this. This is that safety glass, it breaks into a million little pieces, but it's, it's tempered, so it's really hard to break. Where are the screws? Not seeing any screws. Oh, there's a screw. There's going to be circuit board in here. All the screws are out. Oh my god, what did Dell do to me? And the safety glass is pretty tough stuff. You want to avoid breaking it. Just because it makes a mess and it goes everywhere. But make sure you got safety glasses on working with this stuff. And it's weakest at the edges. Right where I'm prying at it. Oh, I cracked it. That's about all I want to get anyways. Get to the motor. That drives the light bar. And get the circuit board. There's going to be some silver contact switches on this board. This can all go. A little piece of ferrite in there. I'm done with this. It's a little piece of ferrite. I use that for electronic shielding. Now I'm pretty sure these are silver, and I know I should be clipping these off. But I've been throwing these in with my number two insulated. Maybe I'll start a bucket for him. More number two insulated. Nah, I gotta clean this up a little bit. Sometimes you can sneak stuff in. Some copper bearing board. Those don't look gold plated. A light bar, a little piece of circuit board in here, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's circuit board, all right. 
go on the copper bearing board bucket. We're done with that. And where are those silver? There they are. I knew there was silver contact switches in here. How rusty that one is. These are silver contact switches. You just grab onto them like a pair of pliers and give them a little twist. I won't be getting the silver out of these, but I will be selling these on eBay once I get enough of them and somebody else will get the silver out of them. Some copper bearing board just like that. Where's my little thing of silver switches? See they add up. And I wish I had my wish I had my poker finger. Put my glove back on. There's something in my glove. There we go. Some tin for the tin bucket. Let's see if I can get the get the copper out of this motor. This looks like I can get the copper out of it. I've seen these motors before. More tin, more trash. Number two insulated. This gear is brass. It should just slide off. I have to hold, use the device to hold it for me. Yep, oh, there it is. A little bit of brass. This looks familiar. I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure I should be able to get the copper out of this. Copper bearing. They spot weld the seam. I think I should just call this copper bearing motor. Now, electric motor-wise, this is not big enough for my scrapyard to call this electric motor. This would have to go in a copper bearing bucket. Let's see if I can. No, this is copper bearing. I'm gonna end up cutting myself again. Sometimes that little shred of copper is not worth it. Plastic. Oh my goodness, I didn't see any screws in this at all except for those four. It's all snap all snapped together. Kind of fun breaking stuff apart. Inks. These are worth store credit at Office Max, Office Depot, Staples. Um, you can sell them on eBay, your empty toner cartridges, empty um, ink cartridges. That's what I've been doing with them. Ooh, got some nice yummy gold contacts in there. That's a nice yummy looking board. And we got screws. Now somebody asked me where I got this tool from. I'll show you exactly where I got it from. This was a five in one screwdriver or a six in one screwdriver. Take the handle, throw the handle in the garbage and it gives you Small flat, small Phillips, large flat, large Phillips. I think a uh, quarter inch, five sixteenths, 
nut drivers. Awesome tool, my favorite scrapping tool. Ten for the ten bucket. I need to get to these. I need to get this board out somehow. I'm not cutting my other fingers open. That's what you get for not wearing gloves. There's another screw hiding. That's a pretty nice looking board. I've been just throwing all these little ribbon cables in with my number two insulated. Little spring. Almost filled a trash bucket full of plastic. Some kind of sensors in there. I'm going to throw this in a copper bearing bucket. Because it bears copper. That's why. That can stay attached. Get this motor out. I got it. Number two insulated. Copper bearing motor. If I threw that little tiny motor, nope, ten. Sometimes these are stainless, and then the older printers, sometimes they're brass. I've seen it. Make sure you check them. There you are. Copper bearing. Another little copper bearing motor. Now if I threw these small motors in my electric motor bucket, they just might end up giving me copper bearing price for the whole bucket. They've done it to me before. So I just assume get them right out of there keep call the smaller ones copper bearing don't rip myself off these are not going to come out i'm gonna have to cut them tin for the tin bucket
smaller bet. Doing everything left-handed. My finger hurts. And I want the gold. How did I miss that screw? Oh, green on both sides. This goes in a green board bucket. Number two copper, some more tin. I'm gonna get these gold contacts out. Some more, let me try getting some more screws out. There you go. And this I will be selling on eBay once I have enough of them. For now I'm going to put them in with my silver mylars. And that's about it. What a mess. This plastic. No. That'll go in the tin bucket too. Now for this board. These are brass. Got some screws. I'll get the screws in the magnet afterwards. I always do. Get this copper off of here. These monolithic ceramic capacitors are all kind of too small to worry about, for me anyways. But I am going to get this crystal oscillator. I have a decent little collection of these going. See what that little guy looked like? Crystal oscillator. A little tiny piece of silver in there. I won't be cutting them open, but I'll sell those on eBay when I get enough of them. Somebody will cut them open. These I like to cut the little the little hat off of them. Get the number two copper out. And I like to leave that ferrite on there to make the board a little heavier. Times are tough now. You never know the way things are going. You might have to barter. Might have to trade some copper for some for a dozen eggs or something. Lexmark. I thought that was a Dell. I thought that was a Dell printer. An Lexmark chip on it. And the rest of this can stay on there, I guess. So there we have it. Of course, got some more tin. I always gather this stuff up. This stuff never just gets swept onto the floor. Always makes into the bucket. Sometimes I do it off camera, but always makes it into the bucket. 
So let's see how we did. Got two and three quarter pounds. Let's see how much tin we got. Well, I got a handful of it. One and three quarter pounds. Now for the number two insulated. Barely registers. Let's see how much copper bearing we have. Almost three quarters of a pound. Not too bad. A little bit of brass, a little piece of aluminum. Let's see how heavy this green board is. Almost a quarter of a pound. Green on both sides. Now for the copper. Probably have to go to ounces. Half ounce. Yay. I got my bright wire bucket out here now. Well, one of my bright wire buckets. Some number two copper. That wasn't too bad. A few minutes worth of work, make a few extra bucks. So just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it and hoard it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.